Hey there, are you struggling to build your own website? I can help. I'm Jason Falls, and in 30 minutes or less, I can walk you through every step of building your own website as a beginner. So subscribe, keep watching. The internet is full of cheap, simple tools called website builders that allow anyone to build a professional website without having to know computer code or even how to do graphic design. In this lesson, we'll show you how to build a site in the popular website builder Squarespace. We'll follow that up with another video that shows you two other website builder environments in case you'd rather use one of those. We're not going to take up a lot of time here building a website while you watch. We'll simply show you where to click and how to enter information you will add later to get your business website up and running and looking great. Let's dive in. Let's set up an account on Squarespace. It's at squarespace.com. We told you these website builders were pretty easy. Squarespace starts out by asking you questions to get you started. What's your site about? What are your top goals? I'm creating an interior design shop, so I want to get appointments sell products, sell services, market myself or my business, and I think I'm going to want to publish a blog too. The answers here help Squarespace know what kind of framework and design you'll need, so think about your answers carefully. You can change them later, of course, but you'll get up and running faster if they're more accurate. Where are you in your process? I'm turning a project or a hobby into a business. Now Squarespace takes you to its recommendation of the best template matches for the kind of site you're building. You can see at the top, you can toggle on or off other website types and topics, which will change your choices. Now scroll through the templates and find one you like. Remember, all we have to do to make these templates uniquely ours is easily done by swapping out colors, images, and fonts, and the builder makes that easy. So don't let anything that looks too fancy intimidate you. Pick the design you like best, and we'll make it work for your business. When you click on a template, you can actually choose to preview it, and a website window will display an active site using the theme, so you can navigate around and see just more than the home page. Happy with your template? Let's click Start on the template. Guess what? You've actually just created an entire website. It's that simple. Now Squarespace walks you through some questions that will help you make it uniquely yours. Let's give the site a title. This is often the name of your business, but can also include a keyword or two you may want to target in your search engine result efforts. So let's be a little descriptive here. I chose Jason's Wood Furniture Interior Design so that I've got some really nice keywords in my site title. The next few pages in Squarespace's tutorial quickly show you how to customize your site. You can skip through those as that's what we'll show you in the rest of the video. And here we are. Your site is designed and set up with navigation, social media links, and even a shopping cart. Now, all of these are placeholders. We have to make this site uniquely yours before we publish it. Squarespace offers a helpful assistant that you can use to watch videos and read instructions if you get stuck. Let's minimize that for now so we can show you the most important parts. When you need it again, just click the question mark in the lower right hand corner. So now we want to learn how to edit any of the pages we see on our site. In the upper left corner, as you see any page, you'll see an edit button. Click it. Now hover over the various elements on the page. You see the editable fields emerge that you can click into and change. Let's change the hero text on the home page. Click into the field and select your text.
Notice that I'm still thinking about search terms and keywords rather than just putting my name all over the place. Let's also change Shop Now to Browse Designs. When you edit a dynamic element like a button, you'll see a pop-up box that allows you to edit both the text and the link. Let's make the page it links to say Designs instead of Shop Now. That is more specific to what you can purchase here than Shop. There's also a tab to edit how the button functions. Change its size and text alignment here. Just click outside the white pop-up to return to edit the page. Now let's go to the top of the page and edit these elements. When you click to edit that part of the page, you'll see you're going to edit the site's header. This head section will be the same on your pages. It's where your navigation links are and where you can put your cart button, social icons, and so on. Keep in mind that in different templates, your navigation may be on the side, your social icons might be in the footer of the page, and so on. Each template is a little different, but just studying the page for a second will often orient you to where these elements are. When we click to edit our header, a similar pop-up appears. You can see we can add a logo. That will replace the text that appears in your site title. It won't erase the title of your site, it just puts it into code and hides it so your logo fills up that space. If you use a logo here, make sure it's legible and fits within the site's design. You'll also want to ensure the image is sized correctly to fit the space. Here, a long, narrow logo is needed. My sample logo here is too small and I like the text version better, so I'll just remove it and keep moving on. Now let's work on these images. When you see large images that take up the background of the page, they're most likely in that page section. Hover over the image, but away from the text boxes and other elements on top of it. You'll see the section outlined so you can see it. In the upper right corner, click on the little pencil icon. This brings up the pop-up to edit that section. You can change the alignment, height and width. You can change the background and the colors you're using in the section. Click and play with the color choices. You just click a different one and you'll see the changes before you. But the big thing we want to change is that image that takes up the page. The template has plants. I need interior design. Click to the background tab. Replace image. Choose the image you want from your own photography. Or you can go find some good stock photography like I did. I use Unsplash, which offers free images to use. And voila! Your home page looks a lot more like you than the template, right? On each page on your site, including the home page, that's the basic way to edit all the elements you see. You just click on the element you wish to change, or click on its section, and use the menu in the pop-up to make your changes. We've looked at the home page so far, but you're going to have several other pages on your site. You'll have a contact page, maybe an About Us page, perhaps even pages that explain your products or services or even pricing. Then you'll have your product pages where you sell your products. Finally, if you have a blog or wish to create recurring content, those articles are all separate pages too. Let's look at how to add, organize, and edit pages. So we've saved our homepage changes and we're back in the design menu. Let's go back one level to the main site builder menu by hitting done. Pages is the first menu item. Click there. What you see here should look familiar. It's the same list of pages in your site navigation that you see in the site window. If you click and drag one in any order, it changes the order on the website. To add a page you want in the main site navigation, click the plus sign next to main navigation. This is where Squarespace really helps you. 
You can start with a blank page, but that means you have to build everything yourself, including the layout. It's easier in a builder tool than having to know website code, but it's still time consuming and intimidating for some. So let's use a page layout. Holy smokes, look at all of our choices. This gives me pause to remind you of a very important step in the process you'll want to take before you get deep into building your site. See all of the types of pages you can choose from here. You need to have an idea of all the different pages you want your site to have before you start so you know what to build and why. I want to sell my services as an interior designer, so a services page makes sense. But I don't necessarily need a member area, although you might. So make a plan of the pages you want your site to have before you start. That way you'll know what to build before you launch. Here's a sample sitemap I produced for my interior design site. You can see I have a clear hierarchy under the home page. Those top level entries are my site navigation. I need to describe my services in more detail than on the home page, so I'll have a landing page for services, then pages for each of the types I offer. These landing pages will be great to set up to win specific searches for those topics. My design gallery is what I'm going to call my shop. Remember, we changed that link on the home page. We'll change the name of the shop to designs in a moment. That shop or store will have these different categories of designs to sell. Next, I've got information about my company and some subpages under that. Then there's my articles, which is what I'll call my blog section, and a contact page. So let's choose services to build that page out. I'm going to pick a design that allows me to list and tease my three services, then build out specific pages for each of them. So let's go with this one. And now you have your new services page to add images and content to. You'll edit this page just like you did the home page. Notice it placed this page as the first entry on your site navigation. Remember, you can click and drag in the left sidebar to organize this as you wish. Now add our subpages for services. Add a new page. Pick page layouts. I'm going to pick an about page here because I want this content to be focused on one thing, my interior design services. Rename the page to interior design. Now you don't want this in your main navigation, so it should fall under not linked. Move it down here and it will be taken out of the main site navigation. You can then link to this page from the services page when you add that content. Want to see how to do that? OK, let's open the services page. Click Edit. Edit our first service title here to say Interior Design. Highlight the text and click the link button in the edit menu that appears next to the text. Click the gear icon to change the link. You can type in an external URL here if you wish to link this to some other website, by the way. But click the gear icon, then find the type of link you're adding. You're looking for your page on interior design, so click Page. Then click in the search bar and your page list will come up. Select Interior Design. Since it's an internal page, you don't need to activate the Open in New Window button. You will want to do this for external links so the traffic can stay on your site while they go and review the link you've shared. But this page is internal, so we don't need to do that. Hit Save. Then when you get back to the main gear menu, don't forget to apply the changes. Now your heading is linked to that page. You can exit the editing function and check the link if you like. What I've just showed you is how you can build and even design your own business website. It didn't take us that long to at least get it set up, right? Now, we need to take some time to go through and make sure we have all the pages added to fill out our sitemap. We need to find appropriate images and other artwork for the design to look uniquely ours. 
and we need to go through and change all the content to talk specifically about our business. In our next lesson, we'll show you a brief tour of the environments at GoDaddy and Wix, so you have a choice beyond Squarespace.